Minecraft Anarchy servers, despite their rough and tumble reputation, have always offered an enormous variety of ways for players to express their creativity. Some players will take to building huge, impressive structures. Others might create chaotic fields of lava casts in the spawn region. And others still may decide to build and improve on massive material farms. Yet one type of creativity stands out amongst the rest, enabling creations once thought impossible to appear in Minecraft. Today we'll be looking at an intriguing trend across Anarchy servers, and specifically on Purity Vanilla, the concept known as map art. I'll not delve too deeply into the full history of map art. I'm sure many of you have already seen salc ones video on the topic. However, for those who don't know, we'll start off by asking, what is a map art? A map art is a series of blocks placed in an order which, when viewed on a map, will look like an image or a picture. On a standard Minecraft map, one block equals one pixel, meaning that a standard map art is 128 by 128 blocks in size, or 16,384 blocks. The concept was introduced to Purity by Master's Chief with a map art of 2B from Near Automata. You might notice looking at this map art that it's somewhat pixelated. This is because when Master's Chief made the map art, he placed all of the blocks on the same Y level as each other. On Minecraft maps, the colour of a pixel is determined not only by the type of block, but also whether or not there is a block at a different elevation than it to the north. A block that is at a lower Y level than the block immediately north from it will produce a darker tone, whereas a block that is at a higher Y level than the block immediately north from it will produce a lighter tone. This means that, whilst building a map completely flat isn't too difficult, you are limited to only 58 colours. However, it is possible to achieve up to 174 colours via a method known as staircasing. Staircasing is when blocks are placed at higher and lower Y levels, dependent on whether or not a lighter or darker shade is required, which resembles many staircases across the area where the map art is built. This technique is estimated to take about 3-4 to four times longer than the flat build method, but oftentimes makes a huge difference in how maps look. Compare the previously mentioned flat 2B map to the staircased 3rd eye map art by Dark Victor. The sheer amount of extra colours and shading provides a huge difference in detail and quality in even the smallest maps. After 2B was created, other prominent players followed suit. Erk Erk, Erk built Spurdo. For alligators built soft and wet, and Owo would eventually build Ahegao. The latter two, Owo and for alligators, would decide that they enjoyed making these map arts enough that they would start a Discord server around the concept. This would be the first map art related purity Discord, simply titled Purity Map Art. Although these days Purity Map Art Hub contains more members, Purity Map Art was used for over a year to showcase and inspire community members' map arts. Generally, players would utilise the map art craft site, linked in the description, in order to easily translate their favourite images into Minecraft maps. Eventually, maps would move on from just being a single map to being bigger, such as 1x2 maps, 2x2 maps, and even 3x2 maps for just one image. Some members of the map art community have taken this even further, finding ways to streamline staircasing with sea lanterns and thus making good looking map arts easier to make or even creating map arts that are designed to be viewed on a rotation, allowing for a type of animated map art to exist. Certain purity players have also taken to utilising map arts for the purpose of enhancing their events. Multi and Sam de QC created this line of 47 map arts for each player and moderator in a PvP tourney back in June of 2020. 47 might sound like a lot. And it is, but they used a clever trick in order to make creating this many map arts much easier. See, after designing the maps in an online pixel art program, they created the base template for the map, and then added the first name. From here, they would lock the map using a glass pane, meaning that no matter what, the map would always look exactly how it did when it was locked. They would then remove the name, and add the next name, and then repeat the process until they had a map art with every single name in the tournament. As a side note, the full collection of these map arts has become exceedingly rare. Only two people own the full set. Other events, such as the ones that Jamin and myself run seasonally, have had map arts such as this one, made by Jamin and the Tromus for our FIBA Festival summer event. 
There have also been celebratory maps, such as the first and second anniversary maps made for the server's anniversary by GoldenCookie420 and Malty and Sam DeQC respectively. Now, I thought I'd show you guys some of my favourite map arts on the server. I already showed Dark Victor's Third Eye, but there's also Illusion by Ocean B, Kaga and the Kage by Ove, Gotta Go Fast by Grandma Pepe, which is perfect for modern city builds. Guren Lagan by Foxtrot. Hold Den Flammenwerfer by GX62. Koala King by Oh My Moogle. And All That Glitters by Bella Terra. Keep in mind that these are just my personal favourites. There's an estimated 230 plus other map arts out there, almost all of which have been proudly displayed at hundreds of bases across the server. Map arts are strikingly different to builds, although both are creative tasks and map arts longevity cannot be understated. Once a map is made, locked and distributed amongst the masses, it stays out there forever. Even when the original build of a map is destroyed, it will continue to be traded, copied and displayed in the bases of many notable players and groups and allows players long gone to live on in modern day purity through their creations. They are just one part of how Anarchy remembers its players. Big or small, a player on an Anarchy server creates an impact, and the collection of these impacts creates our community and creates our history. Even if they are not directly remembered, a small part of every player remains. Whether that is a beautiful map art or a smouldering rune 200,000 blocks from spawn. Everyone who plays on Purity Vanilla affects the server in some small way. And that? is where map arts and the beauty of anarchy intertwine.